Hey loves, so today's video is all about the Aesthetica Contour Kit, which I was sent along with that. I also have the Beauty Sponge. I really like this kit a lot because it's very affordable. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing, I've already went ahead and prepped and primed my face and of course I did my eyebrows. This contour kit does come with a face chart so you can follow by your facial shape and see which way to contour suits you best. It also has instructions inside and it's also a six panel pan kit. It does have a nice size mirror in it so you can use that if you choose to. So the first color I'm going to be using is the middle color which is called chandelier and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like lighten up my darker portions of my under eye. Over time my under eye area has gotten a lot lighter and I'm so happy about that so I really don't need to put too much concealer but I'm just going to brighten it up with the chandelier and I'm also going to go in with two of my favorite foundations which is the ba Black Ups Cosmetic Full Coverage Foundation along with that I'm using the LA Girls um, BB Cream which is a little bit darker it makes the foundation a little bit darker for me because it was just a little bit too light for my complexion I have more like an olive color tone sometimes it can look a little red depending on the time of the year but I'm going to take the beauty sponge which is also by Aesthetica and I'm going to use that on my face this actually is a really great sponge you guys know I've been using a different sponge so I've been using this one since I've gotten it and it's really soft you don't have to dampen or moisten it too much because it really does absorb the water real well but it really is a great sponge now what I just put on my face on top of my foundation was the um, OCC cosmetics full coverage foundation and that was just to give it a little bit of a different shade of brown so that way my color complexion will come or actually match my face now I'm also going to be using the black ups cosmetics eyeshadow palette which is very fall color like a very pretty and neutral palette I love the browns in this I'm really more like a brown girl I love brown eyeshadows and into my inexpensive palette which is by LA girls this is the brick shadow palette and or the beauty brick shadow palette and this is really affordable I believe it's $5.99 on iCade house and I'll post their information for you guys below I'm just going to take one of those colors and use my Sonia Kashuk brush and dip that onto my eyelids and then just to kind of like blend it in and kind of smoke my eyelids out I'm going to use the darker brown in the Black Ups Cosmetics. I do like the Black Ups Cosmetics a lot because they have an array of colors but they really do stay put they last through the entire day. Now another inexpensive palette is the Revealed 3 palette by Coastal Scents which I got out of my monthly subscription of Bob's Tea Charm. I do like this palette but I really like the first and second one a lot better than the third one. So not one of my favorites. I'm trying to give myself like a dramatic eye look um, and it'll all come together at the end so no worries. Um, it may look a little weird or crazy right now but at the end it'll look a whole lot better. Now just to spruce up my brow bone, I'm going to use a lighter color, a lighter shade, which was from the Reveal 3 palette. And I'm just going to sweep that under my brow bone and use one of my favorite cream or gel eyeliners, which is by Mica Beauty. And this black gel eyeliner goes on so smooth, it does not dry out. And for one, it's very black. It's easy to remove, but it's a very black shadow. Now, I would have used the Aesthetic Contour Palette to highlight with. However, I'm just so used to using my Mary Kay Full Coverage Foundation. And I use this. It's a matte color foundation, but it's full coverage. So, of course, it is lighter for my skin. So, I like to use that, excuse me, to highlight with. And to contour, I'm going to use the Aesthetica in the Chic Parisian color. And this color is a really pretty rich brown. It's kind of like a deep, dark brown. So... A lot of people can use this actual contour kit. It's a lot more affordable than the Anastasia brow, um, excuse me, Anastasia contour kit. Same concept, kind of like the same exact colors, but a lot cheaper. You can pick this contour kit up um, on Amazon for, I think it's about $30. If you buy it from the actual website, then you are going to spend $60 for this actual contour kit. So my advice to you, if you're interested in it, I will post the information below for Amazon where you can pick this up. The colors in it do last. They're very easy to blend into your skin. 
and I like them because they're very rich and you also get a lot in the pan now onto the Harris in that Aesthetica contour kit I'm going to use that on my nose as well as underneath my cheekbone area just to make my cheekbones pop a little bit more along with that I will be blending it in with my beauty blender sponge which is also from Aesthetica and just to set my contour or excuse me my highlight I'm going to be using the Ben Nye banana powder which I'm like I said before I'm not a huge fan of but I'm trying not to buy anything that I really don't need and just give my eyes a little more depth and definition I'm going to go into that darker brown in the black ups cosmetic and use that now black ups is a great um, cosmetic line this is for women of color and they have an array of different things I love their brow pencils and their brown crayon kind of like a crayon lipstick but it's for your brows I love those because the colors are just like so defined they have a lot of different colors when it comes to brown and brown is like a hard color to find for me sometimes when it comes for my brows so for the past uh, couple weeks I've been using the black ups cosmetics brow pencil now just to set my makeup and kind of like dull down some of the contouring I'm going to be using my handy dandy Milani facial powder which is one of my favorites I swear by it and one of my really cheap bronzers which is by elf and it was a dollar I also use that and to give my face a little bit of highlight I'm going to be using my black up cosmetics facial powder or not really facial powder but just like just a sheer kind of like blush it's like a golden kind of blush and I love it because it's so pretty and I'll dap it on my nose and my um, under my eyelids really pretty color now this lipstick is very fall like very vampy and it's also from black ops cosmetics and I went ahead and put that on along with that I also kind of like dap dapped it off a little bit because I didn't want it too dark now onto the hair you guys yes this is my Kim K inspired loose wave bob which I love this hair I'll post the video down below for this particular hair that I created I really love this it's not long but it suits me really well so I hope you guys enjoyed the video you can check out Aesthetica's information below and I'll see you guys soon on my next video bye